Alrighty, this is part two of beauty products that I would fight you for if you tried to take them away from me. So let's get into doing that right now. Okay, friends, before we get into the actual products, I do like to show you what I have on. If you're not interested in that, here's a timestamp where you can skip over that. Don't forget that we also have a numbering system that you can look at the number that corresponds with the product I hold up and go down into the description box and shop that way by the number. Seems to be really easy for everybody to do that. So let's look at what I'm wearing today. So here is my outfit for today. I took a pair of white jeans. I have never worn white jeans in my whole life, but I got these and I really like them. They are really stretchy and really nice and I love that about them through the thigh. They are still pretty much a skinny jean and yes I know we're not supposed to be wearing skinny jeans anymore, but I'm going to wear skinny jeans till I'm old and can't wear them no more. And then I got this top. This is just kind of a chiffon top. Um, it's really a pretty top, light top too. Cute little gather right here at the wrist and the sleeve, little bit of ruffle, ruffle around the neck as well. And then it has the tie and then the buttons come all the way down. And you could tuck it in like I have or you can wear it out. Here's the belt that I'm wearing as well. Now let me just pull this out so you can see what it looks like when it's pulled out. It's so cute. It's cute either worn either way, but I liked to have it tucked in a little bit. And then the shoes that I'm wearing, I don't know if you're going to be able to see those or not, but the shoes that I'm wearing are the cutest. They are just a wedge heel and they are so comfortable. And then I went and I grabbed me this blue purse that I just thought was so cute <laughs> and it brings out the blue in the outfit. So just a really fun cute outfit and also let me just show you really close you'll see during the video but i also have this cute little silver heart on and then these are rhinestones they're a hoop but they are rhinestones in the shape of a heart so that is my outfit for the day i hope that you do enjoy seeing these all right we're just gonna scoot right on into part two let's start out with teeth whitening i get asked all the time what I use to whiten my teeth. And it has been for years, regular old Crest white strips. I have used them and love them. I did recently put in a video that I found some new ones that help with the sensitivity if you have a sensitivity to the Crest white strips. I love them. I will make sure that I link them underneath this product right here. This is my other step that I feel like is boosting the whiteness of my teeth even more. This is the Rembrandt toothpaste that is the intense stain remover. This and the white strips, my teeth just seem to be brighter than they've ever been. And my teeth are always usually pretty bright. And this isn't very much. I got a two pack of it and I just use it day and night and it doesn't cause any sensitivity or anything like that. And I'm just loving that I get to use something in conjunction with the white strips that gives me in between time of doing the maintenance with the white strips. So I love this stuff and I think you will too. All right, we're gonna talk again about hair stuff because in part one, I did talk about one hair product. When I get out of the shower, what I do is I towel dry my hair and I put it up in a turby and I wait a little while for it to kind of absorb and then I take it out and I do put in a leave-in conditioner. You want to do that so that all of your moisture doesn't get whipped away from what you've put on it in the shower and then I go in with the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. This is an anti-frizz product but it's also the best product for doing straight styles because as I'm getting the little gray hair all the way through that gray hair can be really frizzy this helps with with taming that and i love that about it it's one of those products that i won't be without and all i do is after it's towel dried and i've put on my leave-in conditioner i'll actually spray four or five pumps in there now my hair is pretty thin and i'll just take a section and i'll coat it and i'll go through it like this and then i'll just comb through it it is such a pretty product it leaves my hair pretty shiny and it really does do exactly what it says it does it says magically transforms texture amazing 
Moisturizing Humidity Proofing Powder Powers. And it really does help with that. Your hair is just not going to get frizzy during the day. And you're gonna find that your hair is not as unruly as it normally is. I love this stuff and this is actually my first bottle of it. I'm about down to here and I've been using it. I would say I've probably been using this almost a year. So this bottle lasts a really long time, even though it's a little bit more on the expensive side, you're not gonna have to be buying it month after month. So it's worth it to me. Another hair product that I adore are these wet brushes. But before we talk about the wet brushes, I wanna to talk to you about this hair removal tool. And I don't remember who makes this. I don't even think they, oh, they do have their stamp on here. It says olive and something. Okay, I uh, can't see. Olive, oh, oh, Olivia Garden. This is the tool that you take your hairbrush and see how the little tines, this is all metal. This is so slick. I mean, really, truly, it's great. Now, my hairbrushes, before I learned that you need to wash your hairbrushes a lot, um, my hairbrushes would get little fuzzies and gunkies in there. Drives me crazy. But this little tool will help take away, take them away. Now, I don't have a lot of hair in these because I do clean these out all the time, but you just put that in there and you just keep brushing it through until it grabs all of your hair. Now, can you see that hair that it grabbed? Isn't that great? And then you just do it to all of your brushes. It's so slick. Instead of having to try and reach down there in between the tines of your hairbrush or the bristles of your hairbrush, you can just go through and do it like this. Now, if you need a little bit more fine, if it's not picking up everything, this part will pick up everything. See how much more that picked up? Because it's really a little bit more dense on those, um, on those wires so that brush is completely clean and you don't have to fuss with the thing anymore so this is great i love this tool i think it's so good and then it's not hard to pull them out of there um, just takes a couple seconds and then you've got all this hair and it's not messing up your brushes and you don't have to mess up your hands with the bristles and i love that it is such a cool invention she did a great job so the other product that we were showing was these wet brushes now wet brushes originally came out to be detanglers for people that had a lot of tangles in their hair however these are so gentle no matter whether you're detangling your hair or whether you're doing your hair I use one of these brushes every single time I don't really use any other brushes anymore these come in a pack of two at least these do you can buy them singly it was a lot cheaper to buy it together and I I love these brushes you can get a small one for your purse I just think that this saves your hair from getting tugged on especially if you do if you comb through your hair when it's wet and like I said I use the color wow product and I do comb through my hair so that it gets evenly distributed so these are fantastic for that and and yeah, I will forever be a fan, a loyal customer of a wet brush. And I've never had one break, but yeah, if it did, I would definitely go buy a new one. They're not very expensive and they're a great brush. All right, the next product that I'd fight you for, if you try to take it away from me, <laughs> this is called Bare August. And I want my ladies that have bought this because I put this in a video about once a year and all of my ladies that have bought this Please sound off about this product. This is basically a foot file for your heels and any calluses that you have on the bottom of your feet. Now this is glass and it's serrated. So it's pretty darn sharp. Do not use this anywhere else on your body because it will really take down um, anything that you're you're working on and it can cause a sore really easy. Not on the bottom of your feet because that skin is so thick, but this is awesome and you will be shocked at how fast it takes down the calluses i use this on my heels i use a, i have a, a callus that comes in between my big toe and the other toe right there and i have to really get in there and this is great for getting in there and you know rubbing on it it's very ergonomical so you can hold it very easy you're not going to be slipping as you're holding it one of the things that i do want to suggest and this is how i do it when i get out of the shower my feet have soaked up a lot of water so the skin is really soft on there and it comes off a lot easier and I use this and then I'll put on my lotion and then put on my socks and I'm telling you my feet have never looked better and the cracks and the nasties on my heels they've completely gone away so I just love this it has a protective lid that goes on it don't let any little hands if you have kids or grandkids don't let them play with this because it does look like it might be a toy but it's not so just make sure that you keep it away from little hands the next products I want to show you are my two mirrors that I use 
every single day. This mirror I use to do my hair. I also use it to when I'm going on a long trip because it's really thin. It'll go into your bag and it won't break because it's got this protective cover that also acts like an easel. Now you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, mine's cracked and that's because of user error. I accidentally dropped this and yeah, was not happy with it. Still works though. So it's got the LED lights all the way around it. The other reason I like this, this is bigger than any of the others that I've ever seen before. So I can see my hair as I'm doing it and my whole entire face. It's really good. It has the three settings of the warm, uh, warm daylight and then office light or or cool light. It also has the dimmable feature. So you just hold on to the on off switch and it'll go down and then you can get it to come right back up. This is one that I've had for a long time and we've talked about it a lot on my channel. Now my other one that I got last year this one is a round one and the reason that i got this is because on this side it's the regular and on this side it is the 10 times magnifying which i love for plucking my eyebrows or those little chin hairs that you can't get so what's great about both of them is they both are rechargeable this one also has the easel feature so you can put it on a vanity or you can hold it. It is really easy to hold. If I try to hold that other one, it's a little bit harder, but because this one has the ring, it's super easy. And again, it has the light and the light is on both sides. That was so important to me because when you're looking 10 times magnification, you need that extra light to be able to see. So that was important to me and it has the three different different light colors and then it also has the dimmable feature which is fantastic and this is such a great mirror and i use this every single day every day i mean i'll find you know i'll be going like this and i'm like rogue hair go get the tweezers get this one and bust out the light and i'm doing good i love this it's such a good one between the two i'm completely set i used to have a big huge vanity light and i just found myself not using it as much as i use both of these so they are invaluable to me and come on over and try to take them away we'll get after it all right, number seven is something I use all the time. And again, I have been talking about this on my channel forever. This is, should be like the greatest hits of seven years of what Melissa likes to use or refuses to not have in her beauty arsenal. Okay, these are the Lumify Drops. Doesn't have any bleach in it. Doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. You can use these every day. However, I don't because I wear contacts. And so I definitely use them when I'm filming or when I go to a special event. Uh, they just make make the whites of your eyes so so white and your girl doesn't get a lot of sleep between hot flashes and the night sweats i'm telling you it just happens and so some days i wake up and i really need this like if i'm going to church or something i gotta have this so i don't look like i'm walking in there like a zombie so these are great for brightening up your eyes and making you look fresh you would be shocked at how many people they do their makeup they look flawless but they look extra tired because their eyes are so bloodshot and red so this just really ups your game as far as your eye makeup goes because it makes your eyes look so bright and pretty the next ones are something that i use every single day and i use them at night and I, because of the hot flashes, because I sweat like crazy, my hair is going up on top of my head in a bun. And I have to have one of these. And it has to be this particular type of a hairband, a scrunchie. And the reason is, is because these are velvet. They're not satin. And I find that the silk or the satin ones were just slipping out of my hair. And halfway through the night, I was up, you know, trying to pull my hair up again because I had had a hot flash. Well, these do not slip out of your hair. I'm telling you, they grip and hold like crazy. And if you're somebody that likes to do a messy bun, these are great too, because you can put it in your hair, do a messy bun, and then tuck the hair, the extra little, you know, hairs that stick out all over you can tuck it around here and it stays in it's not going to fall out because this velvet is gripping them so these are a must for me and i tell people about them all the time they come in packages of six or twelve and i will make sure i link them and don't try to come and take them away from me because yeah we'd get into it 
The next one is something that I don't want to live without either. This is an eyelash comb. I cannot tell you the amount of times this has saved me because my mascara got super clumpy and started making my lashes look like three lashes instead of, you know, fanned out. So this will go in. You have to be careful because it's a little bit sharp, but you always have to be careful with your tools around your eyes. And I love it. I'll be in the middle of doing my mascara and I will just go and, you know, completely separate them because I have pretty long lashes, but I don't have very thick lashes. So I want to make sure they're separated so that each individual lash can get coated by the mascara and it can show up instead of, you know, all clumpy. This is great. I actually probably use this twice on each eye to, you know, separate them as I'm doing my mascara routine. They come in a package of two and a package of four, I think. So I got one, I gave it to my sister and she absolutely loves it. And I'm getting ready to give one to my daughter. I know they're all going to enjoy this so much. It's such a great tool that you don't know you need until you get it. All right. The last one is one that has come into my life fairly recently and you'll have to forgive the oil stain right here because I did wear this last night. I have two of them so I can switch off and wash them because obviously we don't want to put dirty ones on back on our face. But what this is, it's not your everyday face mask. First of all, I have to have a face mask at night because any light whatsoever will wake me up. I don't know why, but my, my eyes are really sensitive. My sensory perception always seems to be a little bit tweaked, a little bit higher than most people's. My husband can sleep through a tornado and he wouldn't, and it wouldn't phase him. But me, no, I can hear a pin drop. So this thing is so good because not only does it help with keeping my eyes closed and the darkness, but this is infused with copper. And as you know, if you've watched anybody that is a skincare guru here on YouTube, they talk about copper peptides and the benefits of copper all the time. Well, you also have the people that talk about the Tommy copper braces, like an elbow brace, a hand brace, a knee brace, and how much it helps with pain. Well, apparently a copper infused mask like this also helps with the wrinkles around your eyes. Now I'm still testing that out because it's probably been, it's probably been two months since I got this. It was like right around the time that I had my surgery, but I've been really enjoying it. And I also feel like when I get a headache, if I put a little this on and then an ice pack on top of it, my, it seems like my headache goes away a lot faster. If it's like a tension headache or a sinus headache, you know, right here in the front. So I love this thing and I was really surprised. It's not in, super inexpensive, but for me, it's worth it. Um, one, because I love wearing masks at night and two, because if it can give me any benefits for the wrinkles around my eyes, I'm I'm all in. So I do really like this and time will tell on whether or not it's helping with the wrinkles. Okay, that was number 20 on our list. The other video is already up so you can go see that. I hope that you did enjoy seeing the 20 products that I would fight you over. Probably wouldn't fight you. Okay, I'd fight a bear for you. How's that? No, actually, I wouldn't fight a bear for you. I might, I might fight a teddy bear for you, but I'd fight for you. <laughs> and I definitely fight to keep these products around because they are that good. So I hope you did enjoy this kind of a little bit lighthearted video. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Tell me what your ride or die beauty products are. I would love to hear that from you because I'm always wanting to try out new things. Thank you so much for being with me today. Love you guys so very much and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs>